G'day mate and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, JD. Now, this episode, I actually already recorded once and we went and played with oil and I've decided to change my mind and take a step back and, and look at the priorities of things that are coming in and this episode we're actually going to do exosuits instead. Now, there's a couple of reasons we're choosing to do exosuits. Um, the main reason is, although we've, we've, we can do and have done some exploring, um, really, this slime biome is in my way. I wish to build right here. And with the amount of germs in here, I could send the duplicates out. And they might go out and come back and, and, and not have too many troubles. By the same token, they might get sick. And if they're sick, they can go in the med bay and they can heal back up. That, that's perfectly fine. And the germs are not great in the medical bay or around the medical bay. Um... But they should heal up without too much problem. We we do have uh, positive oxygen going into the med bay. Um, so it should work out. But honestly, an exosuit is a much, much safer way to go and explore these these horrible slimy biomes. So first off, we're going to check out our printing pod in case we've got something interesting here. Um, honestly, there's only the vitamin chews because I don't want more dupes. So we're going to print the vitamin chews. Um, basically, if we get sick, just curious on the temperature because everything else is coming out freezing cold. Um, if we get sick, the vitamin chews can go into uh, boosting, giving it each duplicate a temporary boost to their immune system. Um, so, first off, research-wise. Um, environmental protection is what we need, which is textile production and environmental. So, it's it's two researchers. And, honestly, I was going to do it manually, but I'm, I'm just... This tutorial series, it's all about uh, what to do when you get the research rather than how to get the research. It's click and wait. So, we're just going to instant research that one. Uh, which has opened up a few new things. So, uh, did it really open up? It did. Okay, so it opened up blank canvas and a tile and carpet tiles. So, furniture. Canvases are awesome, except they cost reed fiber and they now take metal to produce. Okay, uh, reed fiber is, is something that you, you don't have a lot of. And although the decor bonus, as you can see, it, it's a pretty large decor bonus, um, I really wouldn't recommend it at this stage. I'd really recommend... Uh, where are we? Furniture. Um, I'd really recommend trying to stick to the sculpting blocks rather than the blank canvas at this stage. Um, at the same time, stations-wise, we've opened up a textile loom. I recommend throwing down one of these no matter what. Um, it does take refined metal, so you are still going to have the rock granulator. Unfortunately, having a lot of waste, right? Turning your gold amalgam or uh, iron ore or copper ore into refined materials. Um, there's not a lot you can do about it. It's something you're going to want eventually. It's also something that can wait. The exosuit forge is actually the thing that we want right now. And I'm going to pop that right there. Uh, and that has also opened up the Atmos Suit Checkpoint and the Atmos Suit Dock. All right, and we'll get back to both of those, those in a second. It's also opened up the Carpeter Tile. Again, it's a decor item. It actually goes where your normal tiles are. Um, it is something you have to keep in mind because a normal tile has a run speed bonus. The Carpeter Tiles, obviously, because you know carpets have friction, do not have that run speed bonus. Um, it does have a positive decor, so it might be good for like bedrooms and certain rooms that they're not running through. Um, so something to keep in mind, 50-50, half a dozen the other. Um, so right now we're gonna add power. And I want some exosuits. So these use 
two reed fiber and I've only got 11 units of reed fiber. Reed fiber, the only reed fiber we have currently is the naturally growing ones. And as long as we keep these basically inside their temperature range and wait a very, very long time, they will grow slowly. Um, you will find... Uh, no, no. Here we go. So you will find as you explore and unlock areas you will find places where thimble reed has been growing for potentially some time like there's four reed fiber right there um there's another slimy biome uh, all the way along the left side none oh it's entombed because it's actually three tiles tall um so you will find it time to time as you're digging this other areas i wouldn't worry about it too much you will find it naturally you can grow it if you need to uh, but right at the moment, I'm going to make five suits. So that's going to use pretty much all the reed fiber we, we have. It also uses 300 kilos of copper ore. So that's unrefined copper. Um, and copper, if, if you've been playing oxygen not included for long enough, is only really in the starting biome. So copper is one of those rare materials that you will want to get back. If you look at all my early wires, they're all made out of copper ore. Um, so it is something to keep in mind that you may have to, if you run short, you may have to go find your original um, copper wires and start replacing them with gold to get that copper back. Okay. Um, to go with that, we need an oxygen supply for it. So I already have this oxygen supply, but it's supplying the base. I don't really want to siphon off that to put down little space suits. I really want to have a whole new oxygen supply. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to knock out a bit of area and make a mess on the floor. Uh, I'm just going to use normal tiles because normal tiles should be more than enough for what we're doing. Uh, we want to come down two tiles, then I want a door there. A door there. Tile on top. Three tiles. A couple of mesh tiles. Another tile. Uh, two tiles, it seems. Another door. Uh, and this one I'll build properly with side access. I'll open that up as well. Now that I can get the dupes in from both sides, I'm actually going to lock that door. Uh, I'm going to lock that one. I'm going to lock that one. Because in theory, duplicates don't need to get in here. Um, because this was their only access, they had been using it a fair bit. Um, but I really want to limit that access if possible. Okay, so once I put a ladder in... Uh, oxygen. We need an electrolyzer up there. We need ventilation. We need a gas pump there and a gas pump there. Uh, we need automation Atmo sensor. We can look at the one over here and literally copy things. Whoops. There, there. Uh, now, this is a cooling loop for the oxygen that flows into the base. Frankly, because this is going to exosuits, I don't care what the temperature it is. Um, if it's boiling hot, that's perfectly fine. It works for us. Uh, let's look at our plumbing. This water's fairly cool because it's mostly being fed in from our reservoir, um, which is slowly getting lower and lower and lower. So it is something we need to look at um, investing some time into shortly. Uh, we're going to bring a liquid bridge, which will prioritize this lane first. Uh, we're going to run this up our ladder straight into there. Uh, we're going to do some quick deconstruction because I need another hydrogen generator. Uh, I can put it over here. Okay. Uh, we're just going to use... Uh, 
click on that, press B to copy it, whack it there. Uh, put our ladder back in. Come on, game. There, oop. Put our plumbing back in as well. Okay. Made a mess. Why did you pee right there? Uh, because JD siphoned too much water off, and from the looks of it, we've got confused liquid as well. Yeah, it's going forward and backward. Okay, so we have an output, then we have a input with another input. We have to make sure that liquid always knows what direction it needs to travel in. So I'm going to deconstruct, deconstruct that very quickly. Uh, liquid valve, whack that in there, and run it to there. So now we have an output, an input, followed by another input, followed by an output. And it should mean, hopefully, no, nope, so we've still got some getting confused right here. Uh, deconstruct again, plumbing, liquid valve, right there. There we go. So we have to make sure the liquid always knows which way to travel. Now we've done that. Everything should fix itself. Unfortunately, our water is... Uh, you got water. You've got no water. You've got no water. You've got no water. One of them's got water. That's got a drop of water, that's got water, that's got water, that's got water, that's got water. Okay. So as the system runs, it'll refill slowly. Um, it was just, yeah, we, we happened to pull out too much water at once. And the water in the pipes got confused and didn't know which way was forward. Um, it will work it out eventually, but it takes quite some time for it to get there. Okay. So back to making this. So we want to go power. Again, because it's an isolated power system, we just gonna run one straight power line it doesn't have to do anything special it's just gonna run um, it's just gonna run itself and nothing above and beyond uh, gas pipe so we have hydrogen here we have excess hydrogen flowing into here and we're gonna do the same again we're gonna have hydrogen come into there Uh, actually, you do have a smart battery, which is hooked up. Okay, so we need another smart battery. Let's just beta copy. Uh, power wire. Copy settings, paste on there. Grab a bit of automation wire, hook those two up. Uh, gas pipe. So we've got our gas coming down here. It's going to go into this generator first. Anything excess, I want to bring across... Uh, ...into here. And then I want to bridge it into that pipe. Okay? It means anything excess will bounce over to here. Unfortunately, gas is going to get confused again. Is there a way around that? Yeah, there is. Ventilation. Bring it up, bring it down. Put another gas valve there. And that should hopefully stop it getting confused. Okay. Uh... And that leaves our oxygen supply, which for the moment we're just going to... I really want to end up with it over here. So we're going to have some quick pipe spaghetti. Um, all this can be tidied up after the fact. 
actually it would probably be more beneficial for me to take this oxygen supply and run it this way and take this one and, and, and just plumb it in like right here. Actually, let's do that. Uh, let's get... Mm, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, we can take our oxygen down to there and plumb it in right there. Again, we might get gas confused, but that's okay. Once we disconnect this, this should, that should stop the gas being confused. And for the moment, we'll just delete all of that. Okay. So, we have our system. Problem is, we need to prime it. Now, in the past, we used a wheel. Um, because we actually have another power line right here, I'm actually going to use a switch. I'm going to put a switch right there. Bit of wire joining the two. And that will actually run... Power. That'll run this system off this bit of wire. And then when I'm done, I can just flick the switch to turn it off. So we want you to pump above and pump above. Zero. Uh, we didn't put a filter in. Um, okay, so what we're going to do very, very quickly is we're going to disconnect that. And literally just vent it right there. Because we need to get all this oxygen sucked out of the area. And we're going to say above zero as well. So we're just looking for this one to be primed. Get rid of any oxygen we've got hanging around. Um, we are drawing too much power from the circuit. So I've got to, I've got to keep an eye on that. I'm going to set you above 300 grams so it turns off so we can sort of get that hydrogen buffer. you yeah, still got a little bit of oxygen down here. In the meantime, you can just pump your oxygen wherever you want to pump it. Uh, we can deconstruct that one pipe. Uh, it's always best principle to leave a one-tile gap between any two adjacent either pipes uh, being liquid or oxygen um, at the same time I can now shorten that loop and just deconstruct all that uh, ventilation pipes they don't have any negative to decor so you can just run them anywhere you want uh, so it's got a lot of oxygen So we need to pump that oxygen out and try and convince the hydrogen to fill up at the top until we get a pure flow of hydrogen out of here. Okay, so what we were actually doing right from square one was trying to get our Atmo suits running. So, stations. We have an Atmo suit checkpoint. Now these have an arrow. It's very important to look at which way that arrow is facing because that is the arrow to the outside world. This is away from the base. I want to put one of those in there. You see the sign instantly flipped to say you can't go that way because there's no suits available. And then I want to put down stations, a atmosuit dock. Okay. So again, these, these are... They are very expensive items. You know, it's 100 refined metal, uh, and again, 100 refined metal per item. Uh, they need a couple of hookups. One, they need power. So we're just gonna hook them into the main power grid for the moment, and hope we don't overload anything. Uh, and stop and look at this. You've got oxygen, you've got hydrogen. So in theory, if I set that to zero, requires a bit of maintenance to get it started but once we clear out the, uh, the oxygen so it's all vacuum okay so now we can go to here we can go copy settings to there 
Go to that one, copy settings to there. We now know that that's a perfect system. It's got nothing but hydrogen. So once this oxygen pumps its way out, and the pipe keeps getting overpressurized. We now pure hydrogen coming along. We can deconstruct that, plug that into there, take this switch, power overlay, and turn it off, and that breaks the two networks. So this has got a 600 watts on it. This has got way too much. Two and a half thousand watts. Uh, oops. Deconstruct that stuff real quick. And we now have another self contained. Um, oh, wrong way. Self contained oxygen supply that's going to power this part of the base. Um, so we've hooked up power to these. Next thing we need to do is hook up our oxygen supply. Same story, we just run the pipe along. Uh, and then the last thing we need to do is we need to tell the dupes, hey you, Priority 9, deliver the suit. And little things like this, which are a one-off, I have no issue hitting Priority 9 on to get suits delivered as fast as possible. Uh, you're happy, you're happy. Okay. So the only other thing I want to look at with this system is... We're pumping hydrogen into this generator, which is putting power onto the network. It's also the same one that's hooked up to this battery. And we can see this is already like 60% full and we're using exactly 10 watts off the system. We're not using a lot of power. Um, in fact, only when these suits start running and we start putting oxygen into the suits, are we gonna actually start having any real draw on the network. So, now we have access to them. I wanna put down a gas reservoir, which is a simple storage tank for gas. It's nothing more complicated than that. Um, I'd like it if I had a bit more room. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just do a bit of a pipe cleanup. Uh, that can go away, that can go away, that can go away. Gonna run that gas pipe down into there. So, we already know. We already know lots of things. Uh, give her that. Give her that gas valve. It was there to, to make sure gas flowed in one direction. Uh, but instead I can put one here and it takes up the exact same footprint as the machines. So we have hydrogen coming out of this system going into here. If it cannot be used by this hydrogen pump, it's then going to overflow into this hydrogen generator. Um, if it can't be used by the power network, it's going to get burnt anyway. Um, so we need to up our ante with another smart battery. Uh, we know that this guy down here is set to 6020. So if I copy the settings up here. So we want this to turn active at 30%. Uh, actually active all the way up to 60% and 80%. And plug the power in. So the idea is that our excess hydrogen from this generator and this generator will go to this generator and will then power the main grid. If, and it's an if, if there's excess, excess hydrogen, i.e. even our main power grid can't use it, we want to be able to take that somewhere and store it up for later. So onto the pipe spaghetti we go. And in here we have a gas reservoir. And I'm literally gonna pop it right there. I have to build a ground for it to sit on. Uh, 
but it's, it's a temporary storage. For the moment, that'll do us. Uh, we'll take a gas pipe and run it up to there. Ideally, hopefully, we don't have any wasted power. Um, ideally, this will never ever get filled because this is a an excess of an excess of an excess. But on the off chance, it means we can start storing that hydrogen. Um, what we do with that hydrogen, don't know. Um, things like filling this system, that came off the main our, our, our excess at the time. Um, now we can just hook a pipe straight to the reservoir and just say, yep, fill this pipe, and then once it's full, disconnect it. Um, that sort of stuff. But now with our excess suits slowly filling up, we've got 100 kilos in this one currently. Um, ideally, I'd love a lot more. Um, ideally, maybe depending on how many excess suits you have and how many dupes you have plan you know, you're planning on running through your exit suit docks. Sometimes it's better to have two of these set up side by side and combine the two oxygen pipes um, and then take the, the take all the oxygen rather than having 500 gram packets have one kilo packets and feed them into the machine uh, into the um, exit suit docks. Um, either way I'm going to first off square that up. Give ourselves a straight tile down there. Because this is fairly nasty stuff, I'm going to sweep that. Um, but now it means that I can, priority six, have duplicates come out and start digging their way through the slimy area. Um, ideally, we need to put in some airlocks. Uh, I should need to do a bunch of things. I need to put in some deodorizers. A few of them because you will have a lot of polluted oxygen coming off this area same time it doesn't hurt in the slightest um, to even put down a electronic airlock um, again made out of uh, gold and hook that up to power that way duplicates can auto enter and auto leave um, and the door will actually open and close for them. But yeah, now we have Digging Six in his pretty little exosuit. Um, he's completely immune to the germs. He's also immune to uh, Deco, uh, decor, I believe. Uh, average Deco, current Deco is minus 20. Uh, Plus 30 for digging, plus 6 for outfit, negative plus 50. Oh, there you go. Um, I am going to have a problem with too many people trying to use too many suits. Uh, Atmos suit. Can I click on the Atmos suit? Oxygen check. 72 kilos. Uh, 78 kilos. Strength 6 is about to put one on. That has 75 kilos. Oh, and as you can see, this tank's already empty. So, it's going to wait to recharge. The dock actually fills up first with oxygen, which it then pumps into the suits. Um, because they very, very quickly, we, we dug out a good amount of material. Um, you want to put a tile in there to block that off. Um, but yes, now it means that I can quite happily and quite safely uh, dig and this is how I refer to to, to, to strip mine an area dupes can reach four tiles tall so I had them intentionally dig three tiles and then they can come along and finish these tiles after they finish these tiles after they finish these tiles, so on and so forth. Um, it's, it's a very effective way of getting them to to clear large amounts of area very, very quickly. Um, anyway, I am going to leave the episode here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to leave the duplicates actually busy for a little while just doing some of this stuff. Um, at the same time, next episode, we're going to start looking at what we can do with stuff like these little polluted water pockets. Um, I'm not going to worry about fish 
that episode. We'll leave that for a future episode. Um, but yeah, we have a heap of polluted water over here. We have a system that sort of deals with water um, quite efficiently. Um, so yeah, we, we, we want a way to sort of grab this excess water and, and, and attempt to incorporate it into our base. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.